Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Marino Guide, a simple guide for cadets and seafarers. Before anything else, please don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, and hit the notification bell. Our topic for this video is Magnetic Variation In this video, I will define variation and show the process on how to calculate it. What is variation? There are two terms that we first need to understand before we can define variation. These two terms are true north and magnetic north. True north is the northern axis of rotation of the Earth. It is the point where the lines of longitude converge on maps. While magnetic north is the point on the Earth's surface where its magnetic field points downwards. In short, it is where our compass points. As you can see in the illustration, True North and Magnetic North is not in the same location. The difference between True North and Magnetic North is called Variation. So, how to calculate magnetic variation? All charts have the necessary information to calculate the variation appropriate for the area. There are two things that we need to know when calculating magnetic variation. 1. The variation on a given date or year. 2. Annual change in variation. These two information can be found on the compass rows. Compass rows is colored in magenta and usually found somewhere on the edge of a chart or a map. In the compass rows, the information that we need is written along the arrow. Now, let us interpret the compass rows information. This is the variation on a given date. In this case, the variation is 4 degrees 15 minutes west in the year 2009. The one enclosed inside the parenthesis is the annual change in variation. For this one, the annual change is 8 minutes east. Now that we know the necessary information, let us proceed to Calculation of Variation. The first step is to know the total change of variation. To get the total change of variation, we need to get how many years it has been from the date it was published. In this case, we are going to use 2020 as the desired year. So, 2020 minus 2009 is equal to 11 years. From the compass rows, we gathered that the annual change is 8 minutes east. So, we need to multiply the annual change to the number of years. 11 years times 8 minutes is, is equal to 88 minutes. Take note that 60 minutes is equal to 1 degree. So, we need to divide it by 60. 88 minutes divided by 60 
is equal to 1 degree 28 minutes east. This is the total change of variation until 2020 or 11 years. To get the variation in the year 2020, we need to apply the total change of variation from the variation given in the compass rules. In applying the total change of variation, we need to follow this rule. Same direction or sign, we need to add. This means that the variation is increasing. Different direction or sign, we need to subtract. This means that the variation is decreasing. Then carry over the sign of the variation given in the compass rows. In this case, we need to subtract because they have different direction or sign. 4 degrees 15 minutes west minus 1 degree 28 minutes east is equal to 2 degrees 47 minutes west. Therefore, in 2020, the variation at that point is 2 degrees 47 minutes west. Calculating the magnetic variation is easy. Now, let us practice if you really understood the lesson. Take note that the year 2020 will be used for calculating the variation. I would recommend for you to use scientific calculator. Now, let's start the practice exercises. 2 degrees, 00, zero minutes west in the year 2018. The annual change is 4 minutes west. Calculate the variation for the year 2020. I will give you 30 seconds to calculate. The answer is 2 degrees 08 minutes west. If you get the right answer, wonderful. If not, you can try again in the next practice exercise. 7 degrees 20 minutes east in the year 2005. The annual change is 16 minutes west. Calculate the variation for the year 2020. I will give you 30 seconds to calculate. The answer is 3 degrees 20 minutes is If you get the right answer, good job! You fully understood the lesson. If your answer is wrong, don't worry. Practice makes perfect. You can rewind the video and listen to the explanation again. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any topic or topics that you want to be discussed and explained, don't forget to comment down below. See you in my next video. This is Marino Guide. Signing off.